So we've demonstrated Tunnel with Local Proxy um, as the migration path from having an explicit proxy on network um, to migrating to Zscaler Client Connector with a loopback proxy um, and migrating that pack file into the browser that exists um, to give you that congruent experience within Zscaler Client Connector. So that's not the way we want to deploy. We want to use tunnel mode because it captures all ports and all protocols. Um, it uses the DTLS tunnel to forward all that traffic to the Zero Trust Exchange. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here, we're going to delete that tunnel with local proxy configuration. And then we're going to update the policy here. So you see it's loaded Welsh Geek Windows. We can see in private access we've connected. In internet security, we've connected with the DTLS tunnel and digital experience is connected. And so if we open up Internet Explorer, go Internet Options, Connections, LAN Settings, you see that it's removed uh, all of those proxy configurations. And so if we open ip.zscaler.com, you'll see that it's tunneled through the Zscaler Zero Trust Exchange. We can now see um, the source IP address is the Zero Trust Exchange. It sees my public IP address and it tells me information about the Zscaler node I'm passing through. Now let's go back to that private website, DC3 Cert Serve. And you'll see now I'm prompted to log in to that server. And the reason is, if we click um, cancel here, if we click properties on this website, you'll see now it's defined as being in the internet zone. And the reason it's in the internet zone is because we don't have a pack file configuration. And because we don't have a pack file configuration, there is no concept of things that bypass the proxy. And because there's nothing that bypasses the proxy, it can't be defined as an intranet website. So we need to come into security, local intranet, we click sites, we click advanced, and we say star.welshgeek.net. Now remember, star.welshgeek.net was bypassing the pack file. So if we add it here as an intranet website, the behavior is exactly the same in terms of how the browser treats these domains as far as authentication and local intranet zone. So if I click OK now and I refresh the page, you'll see that it's authenticated and logged in and I'm able to access that website. And we click properties and it's now in the local intranet zone as we'd expect. And we know that we've got um, authentication because we can do a Kerberos list and we see that we got that Kerberos ticket for that website. So it's important to consider the implications of moving from a pack file mode to a tunnel mode on how applications will behave. They know they're no longer going through a proxy, so they need to think about additional configurations. We should also look at options that we have available within the Zscaler Client Connector, um, because we can see that we can take a packet capture which will start to log all of that information as we pass traffic through. We can refresh this page that's been packet captured. We can stop the packet capture. We can go to browser and we can go to C program program data Zscaler and we can see all of our logs and everything here and we can see that we now have that um, packet capture um, there for that um, application traffic that we could diagnose. All of this information is useful for our support personnel to diagnose any problems that you might have um, or indeed for you to diagnose problems yourselves. Okay, so we now have that traffic passing through. Um, let's take a look at the private access logs. We can see that 
um, the traffic for that DC3 has passed through. Um, we see that 443 traffic. Um, and if we come into the Zscaler internet access, we can see um, that web traffic passing through as well. So we could look at the raw log traffic, um, let's say for the last two minutes, and click apply. Let's try the last five minutes. And we can see that IP.zscaler traffic um, that I requested passing through the Zero Trust Exchange.